So this is the Washington County preliminary budget meeting for the period beginning July 1, 2024. And the sheriff is unable to make it because of staffing. I understand he's required to be in court or something. So, okay. All right. So, but he has yeah. given us his budget, and um, very little changes um, from when we um, met last time. Um, the only thing was I had had brought it in um, uh, quite a bit higher um, as far as what the county tax was going to require. I say quite a bit higher. I think we we uh, shaved off about thirteen thousand. Are you people? Shaved off about 13. Which is my newest one. Uh, the uh, uh, the um, portrait. Thank you. Yeah, the, yeah, I didn't put in um, notes. Yeah. Great. The portrait. The, down. Approximately, yeah. I'd have to go back and look at that roughly. And that draft. includes sheriff? And that includes the amount of the sheriff, yeah. Okay. So the amount we're going to need to raise in taxes this year um, was a couple of things. Um, we're predicting the revenue to be more. That's kind of a, we're assuming that the, we're gonna be able to open the passport office by July 1, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that the word will be out so that we get back up to the number of um, visitors for passport, uh, requesting passports will come right back up to normal. Um, we did have a very good previous year as far as revenue and passport because we have offsetting expenses for, for the two passport agents and um, other expenses um, occurred. But last year in revenue, um, uh, the year that ended June 30th, 2023, uh, we had approximately 51,000, 51,095 to be exact. And because of all that's going on, I initially was going to put it in at 50, but I'm just a little nervous that we may not get up to speed by July 1 yeah. uh, in that office. And so, even if we open by July 1, <coughs> people have gotten used to going elsewhere. Elsewhere, right. So it may it's take a while yeah. to rebuild. We have there. to play some ads. Yeah. So, um, but even uh, with that, um, I was anticipating the, uh, non revenue uh, non tax revenue was going to be up um, slightly um, this year so that helps to redo it so the amount we need in taxes bottom line um, last year we required six hundred and eighteen thousand six hundred and fifty and that amount as you know is then um, divide I the state provides me with an equalized municipal grand list based on their um, property evaluation and reviews that the state does of the individual towns in the county. And that number does not come in to me until the end of December. So, um, you know, the towns, they're preparing. In fact, I watch Middlesex prepare, start preparing their budget on ORCA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, they're calling me and saying, can you tell us how much our taxes are going to be? I can't till I get that because mm -hmm. it shifts depending on the equalized values. So, um, but anyway, we're going to require, and last year we required $618,650, and this year it's going to be um, $605,070. So. Say that again, six hundred. Last oh, year, yeah, yeah, last year we required, or the year we're in, required $618,650 in taxes, and this year we're going to require 605000 okay. So okay. hopefully that will help towns. But based on Equalize, some may go up and some may go down, mm -hmm. even though we've reduced our, um, our line of need. So you expect that Equalize Municipal Grand List by 1231? And then you'll start to let people know. Then I the will do the count. I'll do the calculations okay. because they will be finalizing their budgets in the middle of January. So okay. I will give them a, uh, an amount that I estimate um, based on the fact that we don't make any major changes at our January 25th meeting. Okay. But we have been very lucky in the past that if we've had to make changes, they haven't been major. 
and we've adjusted elsewhere so that we've always kept to the estimate that we gave them in early January, and I hope I can do, it, <clears throat> do that same thing again. Um, administration costs, which includes um, uh, salaries for the in administration, most of which are sitting right around here. Um, the two assistant judges, um, as you know, receive a uh, administrative fee, and they've certainly earned it this summer. They probably, um, you know, with all the flood that um, and meetings you're having, and the uh, approval of expenses, and and working with the contractors, um, you people have really, really earned your keep, I must say. Then um, the assistant judges um, also get an hourly wage based on um, the hours spent in court, and that is, oh, I think a little less than $25 an hour, so it's not uh, exorbitant by any means, and that's based strictly on the hours. You have to submit a timesheet to me, and, uh, um, and then it goes through payroll. Um, both the um, clerk and the treasurer are on a straight salary because our, our hours is times during budget that we feel like we work full time and then there's other times um, in the summer usually where we uh, certainly um, probably if we put in a eight to ten hours a week it's um, a, would be a exorbitant. Um, and so that's all based on all the salaries are in there and then of course I have to provide for uh, our responsibility um, for uh, Social Security and those costs and um, we pay, you know, you have the other um, in there, your uh, uh, workers' comp and the normal unemployment, the normal things that go along with a um, payroll and employees. Uh, purchase services, um, they have gone up um, uh, slightly um, this year because our payroll services, um, well, I do the initial part and then do the recording after payroll is done. When I get the payroll reports back, the actual payroll now is handled by a payroll agency who do automatic direct deposits and everything for us. And their fees have, have gone up the, this year. And the audit fee is the biggest fee we were paying. Uh, 6500 every two years, and um, now they're predicting 10000 um, every, every, which is other every year? Other every year. year. Every okay. other year. Every yeah. other. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have every every two years. So, I'm. We should have started one in September, but until I can get back in the office and mm -hmm. be working with things, we. So now that means spring because they're getting ready now to head into their tax services, our audit company. So um, now it's going to be which we did during COVID. We did it late. So. Okay, uh, facilities, you know, the water and sewer uh, uh, costs to the city, the sewer benefit charge to the city. We don't pay taxes, but we do pay those um, uh, uh, service charges for usage um, of using water and sewer. Um, trash removal, snow plowing, um, normal um, facility costs that go along with in our case, two buildings, the courthouse building and the sheriff's building. And those costs we estimated in a $4,000 uh, increase. Servicing, that's like cop copier maintenance, the tower clock maintenance. Um, we have a fellow that comes in every year and services the tower clock. And we have, you know, times where we have to call the uh, computer uh, people to figure out what we need to do next. And, Joe and I have learned a lot about iCloud and, and uh, safe, safe uh, saving of, of our documents and whatnot. And you got the message that the malware was renewed oh, as wonderful. of yesterday. Good. Was, yeah. Yeah. Right. It was running right down to the end. Okay. Yes. Good. And um, on the communications, um, uh, it's all, mainly what we pay for is internet. The, the uh, state covers the phone part of it for the courthouse and, and the sheriff's building. And we, of course, have an office in the sheriff's building, and so we come under theirs, and they take care of that. Um, the state does not pay any rent 
um, for the use of the buildings to the county. But in lieu of that, part of our, our revenues, um, which are on the very first page, part of our, our revenues are um, notary, uh, no, we don't have notary fees anymore, passport fees and small claims. Uh, we get to keep a percentage of those that the Superior Court administers and probate, right? Um, yep, uh, yep, small claims. I, I, I'm sorry, I said small. passport, didn't I? Did. Small, small claims, claims and probate, probate. Passport, we have two agents that we hire and pay for, um, and they are <clears throat> under the um, county official expenses. Uh, let's see, servicing. Data supplies, computer supplies, office supplies, just routine things you, mm -hmm. that postage is our biggest, the um, postage has gone up tremendous, I don't know how many times it increased during the year last year. And that was a big hit on our post, on our uh, and passport. Yeah. And it's increasing again as of January 1st. Yeah, in, the, in sometimes they don't increase all the fees mm -hmm. it's certain fees so like I'm first, not class sure. mail. first class yeah. mail and then other times the however the passport one goes out it, you know it's special priorities priority yeah. um it they didn't increase every time but they did have a one major <laughs> increase yeah mm -hmm. so we've increased that a little um insurance bonds of course uh, luckily um we had flood insurance and um uh, the building um, insurance, um, the normal stuff that wouldn't be covered. Uh, I, I guess I, sh I said that backwards. We have the building insurance, and then in addition, we have flood insurance that wouldn't be covered under normal building insurance. Um, county bonds, um, all especially um, I have uh, uh, the largest one because of the fact that I handle money on behalf of the county, so I'm bonded. And then the general clerical staff, which is the two um, uh, uh, clerks in the sheriff's office and Josephine uh, are covered under a general bond. And uh, my bond is, I think, roughly 1,000, and, and the general clerical are, is around 300 or something, mm -hmm. but because they don't handle the, don't have signature power on all the stuff that I have. Um, Bank charges, like normal, normal, normal things, they charge a percentage of deposits and withdrawals. We, our banking account, um, checking and, and money market counter and TD Bank, we have a, um, a CD that is allowed under the operating um, legislation that was created a few, you know, well, there were two, one for, um, capital reserve account for the operating fund, and then we have a capital reserve fund for capital expenditures. Yeah. Used to be counties had to go to each town and get a vote from each town if they wanted to um, uh, bond, and um, I was here at the last time when we bonded about 25 years ago, um, and when the uh, chimney started to pull away from, or started pulling the back wall away or out, and we had to go and bond, borrow money that's, that was paid off here two or three years ago. Um, but now uh, legislature provides that we can put up to 75% in for capital reserve for, for um, building costs or emergencies that we have um, managed to um, fund at its full price. It's taken us a few years to get there, but any, every year that we had any money left over, um, instead of returning it to the um, taxpayer, uh, the county, uh, municipalities and things, we put that into this reserve to, to get it up to its maximum. And like I said, we have that. It's um, almost 500,000 that's in that reserve fund for emergencies. Um, and Which, what bank is it? Uh, that one is in the um, community ba bank. Community National. No, no. Nope. Oh. Community bank, bank. and a the former merchants. Oh. Yeah. 
And then we have the operating, we're allowed to have 25% in for operating Perfect. emergency. 15? Huh? Not 15? That's a 25, yeah. it's yeah, 15%, yep. I'm sorry. Um, and um, that one <clears throat> also is funded at um, 100%. Percent. In fact, I think that one's a little bit over because the interest rates have started going up. So any money left over this year will, um, if we do not have any um, need to add more money to those funds, if we're at, still at max, <clears throat> we will want to consider a carryover to reduce next yeah. year's budget. Definitely. Yeah, and we haven't just had... We'll know about flood expenses by then. Yeah. Just, you know, we've not got anything from FEMA yet, and we... We have no idea I know. how much will be covered or how much of these operating or capital funds we're right. going to need to use. Yeah. And, uh, and what is the uh, estimated costs? At, I know they're not fixed at this point. They find something new that they didn't. We're hoping to reimburse 75% of the pure clean, mm -hmm. you know, immediate emergency. Yeah. To take everything apart. Huh? Bill uh, within a week or two. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but good. then who knows about what everything else? else. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, the assistant judges have been, been hand, handling that. Um, and, uh, and that would be reimbursement from FEMA? 75% from FEMA, yeah. Yeah. And did you put a rush on that one or a request for it because you said? Well, our um, project manager, Paul Stafford, mm -hmm. meets with FEMA every week. Oh. And Leah often joins them when she mm -hmm. can. Okay. So. Okay. You know, that's his latest update, which was as yeah. of yesterday. Great. Yeah. Good. Then, so how much, you well, said the reserve on the 75% one was close to 500,000. Mm -hmm. How much is the operating account reserve then if, do we, do we know? It's 400 and something, but it's almost five. I didn't bring that figure with me. Oh, that's okay. No, yeah. I think we don't. It's almost capped, right? Yeah, it's, and it's the, capped. And the 15% right? operating account. Yeah, more. it is uh, that would be approximately 100,000. Okay. All right. I don't have the exact amount. And like I said, it, the uh, uh, interest rates right now, are, of course, for, there was a while that we were hardly getting anything on these yeah. CD, CDs. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, there, there. Now, um, dues and subscriptions, we belong to the Vermont Leagues of Cities and Towns because that enables us to get, uh, go into a group for insurances and things, and um, they handle, uh, we do, our unemployment is reimbursable, um, so we um, only um, have to, you know, we pay a fee for them running that, but it's called reimbursable. It's different than the a normal business pays the way they pay. It's paid through the league. Um, association of county fees for the judges, and um, we have a little bit in there, $200 clerk and treasurers. We haven't spent it ever, ever in the last few years um, for any uh, dues or subscriptions we might need. But, but it's there as a placeholder if we do. Um, uh, the capital improvement um, uh, for under other, um, in addition to what we've already talked about, we always put a contingency in there of 5,000. We've never had to use it. Um, and uh, capital improvements, um, some years we've, uh, We've been budgeting 60000 um, but because of COVID and things, a lot of things didn't um, happen, and now um, we reduced it to fifty, hoping that the between our flood insurances and FEMA, and, FEMA, uh, and our savings account, <laughs> or reserve funds, if, yep. that we've reduced the capital improvement figure to 50000 from sixty in the past years. Um, so that's the county budget, comes to a total of um, $370,880. Now we go into the sheriff's budget, and again, like I said, he can't be here today because like everybody else, staffing issues, and he had to be on a court order. Um, 
we reduced um, the personnel cost there mainly because a long-term employee retired last year and we hired a new employee uh, with some reduction. And we also had allowed a little extra, I say, I keep saying last year, which is actually, because I'm thinking about the future year. Um, actually, it's the current year that we went up a little bit because we knew uh, we were going to have a training period. Um, and uh, we had budgeted um, uh, $132,000, and that definitely should be um, probably a little less. And um, and last year we spent 127,000 with that training period, and like I said, that we won't have that this coming year, and we won't have um, uh, uh, um, uh, the new employee has started at a, a reduced rate from the long-term employee. So based on that, and what I. I took their two salaries and I was able to reduce that number to 127 from 132,000. And again, you got your, we have to pay Social Security on that, we work with comp, unemployment. Um, we, we, the two um, employees at this, none of the um, county employees are full time. So no be, well, I shouldn't say no benefits. We do have, um, uh, we have no major insurance. We do give them um, some dental and uh, uh, coverage, but the, only the um, two full-time girls at the uh, sheriff's office get full uh, insurance. Are coverage. they not considered county employees? We don't consider them county employees. They are county employees. Well, they are county okay. employees. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They are county employees who work directly for the sheriff. For the sheriff. Yeah. So the two uh, sheriff employee, county employees, they get health insurance, full time, and and we pay eighty percent, and and they pay twenty percent, which is most. That's kind of a norm in in government. Um, and then um, he has a uh, uh, under education heading. He has in service um, fees, training fees. And he has uh, uh, ammunition. Um, they need to, um, and, but he's been, it isn't just bullets. Um, they um, bought tasers for the first time. Um, and um, there, there's other things in that. Um, I can't explain all of them. <coughs> he, he could. Service contracts, they have a, um, you know, a copier and um, I'm trying to think the other Joe, you help radio uh, repairs and and ra yeah, well, yeah, and radio repairs. But I was just trying to think. Canon, I think, is the contracts for the copier, and, and of course, we did lose one mm -hmm. copier uh, mm -hmm. in the flood, and um, part of the expenses, flood expenses, will be we have to pay that off, even though we don't have access to it, and we had to. Um, lease a new one. We may want to some year consider what we did in the county, mm -hmm. Buy buying it, it and mm -hmm. uh, sure. not doing Especially if this lease company isn't working with mm -hmm. the sheriffs in a very helpful way. way. Yeah. Because it's because it's leased, it's just like a car, you know. Yeah. They should have taken it back and not kept charging us. Yeah. Yeah. But fun. we're still arguing with them, I believe. So you've on that. Who knows what will happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, then you have your normal office equipment, office furniture costs. It's very little. He's got 1200 in there for office equipment. And whether or not we'll even spend that, because I think probably by the time we get through this flood thing, we, we're going to have to have replaced anything. Yeah, that, exactly. So hopefully that will be a savings toward next year. Um, communications, we level funded it. We reduced... Um, and that is his uh, phone and internet and, um, oh shoot, I did not. We were gonna combine that phone, internet, and DV mm -hmm. line as one, right? Yeah, it's yeah. 7,200. Instead of 3,600 each, it's 7,200 total. Yeah. I, I'll change that before the final um, hearing. 
In the final hearing, Joe, is January 25th. I believe so. Let me double check that. And I think it's at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Correct. We don't have a place yet. Whether no, we're, we're going right to use here. here. Going to be used here. It's okay. Right here. We have no access to our buildings right now because they're being um, renovated. Okay. Let me just double check that date. Final budget meeting at 3 p.m. in the Hayes Room at the library. Mm -hmm. Okay. January 25th. 25th Thursday. Thursday. Yep. Thursday, January 25th. Yep. That little, little different. Different day of the week and a different time of the week, the yeah. time of the day. And that'll be publicized. Um, uh, supplies, he's got 3,000 in for law enforcement supplies and 4,800 he um, uh, reduced that um, by 1,200, the office um, supplies. And again, um, hopefully the, what they're what they lost will all be replaced by the flood and that we'll still have a normal um, year and get back down. Yep. Uh, utilities, uh, we're under district heat through the um, state of Vermont and um, we budgeted that. Um, I didn't mention that, but that cost is, is um, um, split between the courthouse pays two thirds of that cost and the um, uh, sheriff's building pays one third. So um, we have um, budgeted again 24,000. The district heat had it prepared us for um, an increase um, going forward. They're finding that they need to make adjustments and um, but up till now, we've been budgeting in the 20,000 range, as you'll see by the past two um, previous, not the one we're in, but the pre two previous where we have what we spent um, in the fiscal year 21-22, we spent, uh, we budgeted 20 and we spent approximately 17 um, and that um, was uh, for the court part of it. And then in 22-23, we budgeted, and that's line number uh, 611. Um, in the 22-23, we anticipated a bigger increase, and it was only 1,000 more that we could pay that year. But again, we've left it at 24,000 just so that we are prepared, not knowing uh, what that increase is going to be. Um, and, and what kind of winter we're going to have. have. Yeah, what kind of winter we're going to have. And also, you know, um, what kind of issues the flood created for that whole yeah. Yeah. issue. Um, and so, like I said, so we, uh, we've got the um, county portion of that heating in at, at 24, and we have the uh, sheriff's um, share of that in at 12,000. And his have been, his costs, where ours were running um, uh, 17, 18,000 a year. His were running um, roughly 8,500 in 21, 22. We had budgeted 12. They ran roughly 9,000, 22, 23. Again, budgeting 12. And we feel that even with proposed increases, it won't go over, so we level funded that um, piece. Electric, we do anticipate uh, an increase. Um, uh, the last unaudited year for 22-23, um, we paid 5,000. We've got 5,200 in for the current year. And um, uh, we felt that that needed to go up, and so we've put it in at 6,000. Sewer so benefit that, again, um, all building costs are two thirds on the county side of the budget and one third, and those are split with the sheriffs. He plays one third of the sewer benefit and one third of the water costs. Um, of course, there are more people in the courthouse than the sheriff's building most of the time. So, then insurance on bonds. Um, I, I budgeted for a bond this year, but I was he. I, he was going to check on that, and I think probably we'll have it. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to have to spend that next year. I think it's a I the sheriff's bond is a two-year bond. I, I thought the sheriff's bond was a two-year bond, but I'm 
um, it doesn't say on the the their policy on the policy yeah so we'd have to look at our or talk with our uh, or he'll have he'll to talk well no we have that one through a local Dennis Wick and Brown so we can get that one too but I put it in there just in case okay um, and again the building insurance everything building insurance flood insurance again um, th that's prorated um, one third of the total bill we get um, so anyway, we're down to where um, uh, the county budget, um, it, it went up 3000 this year, but we were able to, um, hopefully, the revenue projections, we've never not made revenue. And it's just such an unknown now with the, this flood thing. But with the uh, little increase in revenue, um, it, um, uh, in the, in the um, sheriff's budget was taken down um, on the insurance end of some of the stuff that um, this year we're in at uh, a total of both of 687, 870, but when it gets offset by the revenue from non-taxable um, revenue, which is 82,800, it, it means that we've got to raise taxes this year of $605,070 and last year we had to raise 618650 So, now, like and I, some of the fees that we hope to receive other than passports are indefinite too. Every, because um, you've got the probate court and the civil court squeezed into the very yeah. family and criminal courthouse, and who knows what their fees will bring in. Mm -hmm. They may change too. They may they change may too. They may be way lower. So we, so we decreased for this year. From as far as the need of taxes. Yeah. Yes. Um, from but 618 to 605. Like I said, I want to make it really clear to the towns and, and um, cities, uh, there's 20 towns and cities in the Washington County, that even though we have reduced that taxable need, they individually may see a higher or a lower based on what the state gives us for equalized municipal grandless um, things. So some may have gone up, some may, uh, more than others went up or yeah. decreased more than others. So that's, um, well, I thanks, Bev. Yeah. I wanted to just ask Joe, um, because this is my first year of this piece of it, because I only started February 1, um, when you uh, warn, are you, Placing as I didn't see them in the world or the bridge where I was looking for them, but maybe you used the Times Argus, or I, I just curious. I used the Times Argus, yeah, and the Washington World. Okay, I did not use the bridge because it really is just solely on you know one town, sure. focused on one town, and it's not coming out. I'm happy to often. use the bridge too. No, I was just curious. And the Washington World um, yep. was in, and they sent me a copy, and I'm waiting Great. for the Times Argus to send me a copy. I personally don't get it, but I'm sure it's in, and they usually oh, we send could it. get get more if we had to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And then so I will do that I think again. If you can, you know, I, I don't know. Um, some of the places where I used to post it yes. are, are, you know, not available right now. Like the courthouse lobby, you know, right. it's closed. But um, I used to post at the library. The library, which is good. Yeah. Um, at I usually well, I used to go and do the post office too. We can't do that. No, I I posted library at Shaw's. Yep. <laughs> but that's Shaw's. Hey, but that's field. something. And um, yeah, uh, that's where else did I post? I guess the co-op has a free board if you yes, want to Yes, in the, the co-op. Co I could take one there, into the city board, too. Thank you. Although and the main remember, board. That's where I always did it, at yeah. the city. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so I will make sure that that yeah. happens at um, the city, which I, yeah, okay, the city, the library, and. Uh, uh, Shaw's. Or co-op. Uh, uh, well, both. Both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But um, every city and town clerk gets a copy of the notice Good. and we ask that they share it with all of their staff and also to put it on front porch form in their town if possible okay mm -hmm. it's not required yeah super okay. Okay. so it and it you know um for those that are watching this it is helpful because we have had we do now have an assistant judge who was our county clerk that really has um knows 
the ins and outs of it. And Leah, to uh, our other assistant judge, Leah, Elizabeth Batty was our former clerk and now our assistant judge. And Leah has been with us now, is it two years, two and a half? It'll be three in February. Three in wow. next February. And um, she was appointed first by the um, uh, Governor Scott to replace the assistant judge, um, Otto Trouts, who had died during his term. And then she ran for election, and here we are. Yeah, and we should say Josephine Romano, our county clerk, mm -hmm. and Beverly Pembroke Hill, our county treasurer. Yeah. Josephine, thank you. you've been with us now for, um, let's see, eight, I think it's um, well, 2018. Mm -hmm. Five years. Yeah, five, five years. years. Five years. Yeah. 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 And this is going on my 35th. <laughs> yeah. My 35th. And I still get nervous. I was county clerk also. Yeah. For 20 years between Way 1970 back. and 1990. That's right. That's right. And then the positions <clears throat> that were full time were reduced when the state took over the um, cl uh, clerks in the court um, part of, of county government. 2010. 2010, 2010, all the positions of like clerk were the, So I work reduced. 10 hours a week and you work? About 15. 15, yeah. But like I said, it's not that much every week. Some week, like sure. right now, it's a lot. And or during audit, and like you have it like with election year. Right. You know, so. And so next year elections, it's. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Elections right. are coming up. So one thing that I can remember having to do, and so I know you two need to do it, mm -hmm. is before you place your ads and your postings for the January meeting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you need to come up with that table. Oh yes. Oh, with yep. the condensed. She's expenses. already said sent it to me so I that when I get home. <laughs> Great. So as long as you two oh, yeah. are yeah. good with it, if send it to us too if you yeah. want to, if you yeah. feel like mm -hmm. you've got it all set. Yeah. Then. I just give her the numbers and she takes it from okay. there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I need that by um, next week. Yeah, I, I need it by well, today is Friday, right? So if I could have it even on Monday, yeah, because mm -hmm. you've or got Tuesday, that very Tuesday, window. Tuesday at the latest. Yeah, You're okay. To place it in. I have it. Yeah, narrow. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, Monday will be what the eighteenth, nineteenth. So the eighteenth. I, I would like to get it in by the twentieth. And if you're trying to get in the world, you got to do it Tuesday, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, but we've got what? It's thirty days. It's after thirty it's, days, but that's after. No more than no less than thirty days. No more than forty right. days. Right. And the yeah, thing no about the Washington World is you got to have it in on a certain day in order because they go to print. And they, you know, and the statute just speaks to um, full-time newspapers. Mm -hmm. In other words, not a newspaper like the Washington World. Well, I mean that's part of it. It does say you know if you have a a daily paper, you must use it. Yeah, and so then that's the time. Times out, I guess. And they're not even daily anymore. Circulation sometimes, yeah. then it seems really smart to use the mm -hmm. um, Washington World. Here it is. If a daily newspaper of general circulation is not published, shall be published in a weekly newspaper. Yeah. 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 Okay. So include a summary of expenditures, blah, blah. Yeah. And how so gonna... a copy of the proposal may be obtained. Which yes, is we also always different say that. because you used to be able to say <coughs> it's available from the county clerk and it's available in the courthouse. Yeah. And you now can't say that. So, oh, mm -hmm. well, we'll mm -hmm. say a copy w is available by contacting me Good. and then I will Perfect. Yeah. mail them okay. out. Okay. Like by email or by. Yeah, I put my email in, mm -hmm. the county's email. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Um, let's see, I what else? So no one from the community has shown up, but again, um, uh, all the town clerks did receive notice. And there's one more, uh, the one more official hearing before we. And there's one more official hearing. Yeah. Before we finalize. It. Which is open to the public. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, great. So do Shall you want to close, close the meeting? The meeting? Yes. So we can close the meeting. Now. At 9.47. All Thank you. No, 10.47. Yeah. 1047 meeting adjourned. Thanks for writing up a few minutes for us. Well, I was yeah. wondering if. <laughs> can I get a copy of oh, You mean this is so much better? The bit I've written? Yeah. Sure. If I could just get a photocopy. Sure. To take with